My name is Hayley Victoria. I am a criminology and policing lecturer from the UK. And what we're going to look at is crime in our areas. Ooh. Now then, you can find out what's happening right down to your street if you want to. And to do that, we use this website called police.uk, which is an open book supplied by, by the police for us, the citizens of the UK, to have a look at what's going on. It really is really good. I'm just going to show you some other bits on here. So it's police.uk. Um, it shows you how to contact your local force and other policing bodies. It shows all advice and support if you are a victim or if you're affected by crime otherwise. Advice in crime prevention. And at risk of sounding a bit like um, a, a shed varnishing company, prevention really is cheaper than the cure. So if you can get cameras, some decent locks on your house, you're onto a winner there already. It shows performance, so data and stats in your area um, to po police performance. It talks about how police is structured and strategic programs. So if you are interested in more about the police, this will tell you a lot, a lot of stuff. And then this is the bit I like all about crime in your area. Interesting, right? So what you do is just click on that. And it's, oh, here we go. I've already been playing on it, as you can see. So this is what will pop up when you first click that if you've not been on before. And we can have a look, like I said, right down to the street of what's happening there. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to put my street on because I don't want any people turning up at my house being like, you know, I don't know, your videos are rubbish. But what I am going to do is look around where, kind of whereabouts I live. So I, I do live in Yorkshire, as you can probably tell by my accent. But I won't say exactly where because that would be weird. I'm going to pick the uh, the biggest city up here. And that's Sheffield in the UK. Let's have a look. Okay, we're looking at Sheffield Central and Northwest. This is the boundary area here. Um, whoa, as you can see, violence and sexual offences are up at 449. Antisocial behaviour is 280. Public order, 196 offences that have been reported. And criminal damage and arson, 132 crimes have been reported. And that's just in July 2021. What it also shows us on here is crime per month for the last year. You can see some dips here. And that does correlate with when we had our lockdown, our nationwide lockdown, which is not a surprise. You can view that as a list too. Tells us all about the local policing team, etc. Interesting, right? But that's not what we've come to look at. You want to see some more detail. And to do that, we're going to look at the crime map. Now then, this I find really interesting. And that's because I'm a nosy person. Now, if you look at this area, so we're looking at, I think it said Central and Northwest. Yeah, Sheffield Central and Northwest. These are the crimes separated by areas. And if you click on them, we'll tell you what kind of crimes are where. Now then, you can see right in the center of Sheffield, we've got 1,179 crimes reported in that month. Wow, is it Sheffield? Come on now. But over here in the rural area, we've got one. Can't we all be like that? Or can't we just be like zero? I mean, look at this place. Nothing there. But wow, yeah, a lot of areas. This is a lot, yeah. So in Sheffield, there's a whole in that central and northwest, 1,698 crimes reported in July alone, 2021. If you live in Sheffield, by the way, I hope I don't offend you. I love Sheffield as a city, um, but obviously there's crime everywhere. And it is no surprise in the centre of Sheffield, there are more crimes because that's where everything is. The shops, the pubs, the clubs and stuff like that. And where there's alcohol, there is generally more crime. On a Friday and Saturday night, people have had too much beer. They start fighting, don't they? They start um, creating public order offences, criminal damage. Just make a general mess of things when people have had too much to drink. Um, also... Uh, domestic violence, domestic abuse cases do rise when people have been drinking. So you might notice in December we get more cases of that as well. And that's completely typical of, of that time of year, unfortunately. So let's have a look at what these crimes are. So out in the rural, nowhere, um, antisocial behaviour, one offence. And let's have a look in the centre then. So as you can see, violence, sexual offences, criminal damage and arson. We'll go right into the middle. Oof. Where do I know? Let's have a look. Have a look at the pubs. Commune's a really nice place, by the way. <laughs> Feel free to send me some vouchers, Commune. Let's have a look at what's happening around there. 
oh snake hill there's a oh near the courts as well so snake hill there's a big police station there so let's have a look at what's happening right on snake hill look you see police station so we've got other crime public order violence and sexual offenses what we can do is click 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 and as you can see it's now asking us if we want to see the crime details and outcomes yeah we do let's have a look what's happened under other crimes we've got 14 and they're all under investigation yep okay super public order we've got under investigation further investigation is not in the public interest so when you go to charge or pursue um a crime you do like threshold tests or the full code test to see if it's there's like you know reasonable grounds to believe that someone's actually done that to suspect that they've done it and also it's in the public interest to charge somebody if it's not in the public interest they won't bother um, awaiting court outcome under investigation Ooh, interesting let's have a look at some of them um, the violence and sexual offenses are also under investigation now that doesn't mean that um, nothing's happening bearing in mind it's happened in July the fact that they're under investigation is really good because it means obviously they're being taken seriously and they will do if it's violence and sexual offenses if something is domestic violence it's an immediate response um, to that because it is a huge 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 crime Let's have a quick look at a waiting court outcome for this one. I've got no idea what it is, by the way. Oh, that's quite quick, isn't it? Yeah. So the suspect is now going through the magistrates or Crown Court. The suspect has been charged or sent a summons. It's kind of vague, isn't it? But they're not going to give you all the details on there. But yeah, so there you go. Exciting, interesting stuff. So that's Sheffield. And as you can see, in the center of a big city, you get more crimes than you do rurally, and that is to be expected. But you can drill right down onto streets. So let's find a street where you live. I was going to sing out the song then, but I thought better of it. Uh, let's zoom out. Do, 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 do. Let's find a more residential area. Burn Grieve, here we go. I might have to change my boundary, actually. I think I will view search another area let's go Hillsborough which is S6 I believe S6 Sheffield still that same area let's look at our crime map all right Hillsborough's down here here we go Hillsborough, Owlerton, etc. So this area is more rural. There is a football stadium though, so it'll be interesting to know if there's ooh, what perks we've got here: theft, robbery, violent sexual offences. Wowza! So these places. See, this is actually this is a street here. This is vehicle crime. This is a street. We've got violent and sexual offences. So these could be uh, domestic violence, maybe, or obviously sexual offences and things as well. Interesting things, right? So that's Hillsborough. This is still in Sheffield. But yes, yeah, so if you want to know what's happening in your area, you search your postcode and it will show you. Or if you're just generally nosy like I am, you could put a different postcode in. Right, what's Doncaster? I think it's DN. Look at that, eh? I don't know the centre of Doncaster's postcode, but the end. Ah, look at that! Doncaster Central, okay. Doncaster is also a big, big city up here in um, South Yorkshire. Violence and sexual offences, 606. And you can see the dip there we went back into a national lockdown, which is typical. Uh -huh. So let's have a look at the crime map. See what we can see. See if it correlates. Because crimes are different city to city. Um, and police forces will um, match resources to demand. So wherever the crimes are, they match. They don't just walk about hoping to step on a crime or find something. There's a lot of people getting info and intel, pulling this information together and dispatching those resources to where they need to be. So every time you call up a, a crime, if it's in South Yorkshire, you should go through to a place called Atlas Court, and that's the police call centre. Depending on the severity of what you're reporting, you, you'll either speak to like a regular call handler or it'll go through to the 999ers. And as soon as it can, they'll send you into dis it'll go to dispatching and that'll send a unit out to come and help as soon as they can. And it obviously depends on what's happening. If it's a crime in action, if it's 
you know, something really serious is going down, they will get an immediate response out there. Let's have a look. Ooh, what's this? Criminal damage arson, violent sexual offences, ASB. So depending on the city, depending on the town, your crimes are going to change, they're going to be different. And that all depends on what's going on. If you've got a lot of pubs, a lot of shops, if it's like near Meadow Hall, you'll see shoplifting. If it's in the city centre, you'll see alcohol-related offences, violence, public order, etc. So yeah, this is it. Have a look on police.uk.